These nasty little minds, affectionately called sleepyheads, can really interrupt a Prizrak's patrol path. Something for the girl to keep in mind. I mean mind. Sounds good. Going into Mick's pockets. I got something. I know it's ironic, but I have banned my fellow Prizrak from playing Towerfall. In the free world, Towerfall is the perfect recipe for a great party. In Metamorphosis, it's fodder for Derringer to crash your raucous party and send your guests home with permanent reprimands. If pure, unadulterated fun has a direct correlation to financial success, Matt Thorson will be richer than a Finnish free-to-play CEO. Who is it? Who is it? Hope? Hello? Is anyone there? What? Who left this? This is... This is not a manifesto. The... Propaganda machine is a well-oiled piece of hardware. Dissection rooms? What are you doing? Reading! His manifesto! <laughs> Lights out. Sir, it's a Zenger cassette. 
The address is the Preak House. What do you mean? The rant. Zegger, on the tape. He addresses Weep personally. Who the hell is Weep? I, I mean the 933W. Do you want to listen to it? It might be useful. Personally, I'd rather listen to Murray talk than hear whatever's on that tape. Yes, sir. Just bag it up. He had it in his mind to escape this place, long before Zager first talked about revolution. Dear Headmaster, by the time you read this, I will have escaped. My mind is set on it. This place of yours is pure mathematical evil. You think that we're all ones and zeros, but we're not. And more of us every day are beginning to see through your lies about the outside. Once, you had me. I believed in you, in metamorphosis. When I was a child, I dreamed of joining the Prizrak. You should have let me. Now, it's too late. If you see 390H, tell her she has my heart. I'm coming back for it someday. Sincerely, 933W. You and the girl have reached a part of the facility even I have never seen before. I've heard only whispered rumors and half-truths about what goes on up there. I even... Hang on. I'm being called away from my desk. I hope to return shortly. Be careful out there. Cooper out. Yours is mine. War troubles the heart and mind, Librarian. Vonnegut Slaughterhouse-Five would use the trappings of time travel to torment both. We must care for those who have no business knowing about war's past. That this rings true for war's present goes without saying. Consider how the Japanese omit World War II atrocities from their textbooks. Consider Barack Obama's refusal to even acknowledge the culprits of the United States financial crisis. People don't care when you show them the truth. This is all the more reason to deprive them of it at the start. For your eyes only, sir. I see Murray Prideau's name is absent. Sir, I have reason to believe the mentor has not been completely forthcoming with us. You think she's dangerous? I think she could harm the arrival, yes. In fact, I think those are her intentions. I always anticipated a certain degree of pushback, if not outright sedition, but not from her. This one stings at the heart. My goodness, it's really coming down, isn't it? There's a storm moving in from the northeast. We're tracking. I hope it doesn't upend the arrival. I hope it's not one in the same. Barrier, we spotted 3908 in the atrium, second floor. Watch the steps. Roger that. Problem? No problem. Just business as usual. But I'm afraid I'll have to catch up with you later. I see. Watch your step tonight. You too, sir. Strong arm tactics. We'll leave that. 
Okay. Can't believe you dragged me out of there. You see the look on his face? We might have a security breach. Someone just accessed both the Atlantic and Pacific server rooms. Okay, well, we'll just trace it. I did. It was Maddie Sage's car. Morning bell. Okay, she's allowed. Yeah, but why tonight? Eve of the arrival. Doesn't that seem weird to you? Well, after what he's preaching in there, I don't think anything's weird anymore. <laughs> You're not helping me. Here, have another cup. I'm gonna be up all night. We all will. Stay on it. Bird dog it. I'm sure it's nothing, though. Overseer? Sir, I have Vice Admiral Matthews on the non-dial. Uh, this one? Uh, the other? Yeah, the second one. Drag was off. Vice Admiral. The magnet sticks to what it knows. The needle always gets to the point. Go ahead. <clears throat> Lead better 10620 overcoat. Two zero. Uh, three. Wakefield, eight, eight, four, seven, overcoat. Wait three seconds. <laughs> okay, go secure. Avalon, one, two, seven, we're secure. This better be important. I have a fleet to attend to. Yes, about that, Richard. I believe you might have overdone it. What are you talking about? That shiny flotilla surrounding... Our satellite shows three battle cruisers, a frigate. How a... the hell are you seeing that? Who do you think I am? Listen to me, sir. Remove those ships. Makes my people uneasy. Which people are you referring to? Tomorrow at the arrival, we expect a modest welcome party, not an army. We're the Navy. Pennies or pounds, either way, I don't care for it. Now, if you'll excuse me, Admiral. I have rather important business to attend to. Hey, you called me. There he is. No, he hung up on me. We've got too much inflow. Where are we storing all this data? It's just runoff from Terminus. Runoff to where? Is there another server room I'm not aware of? It's not really a room. What is it then? What the hell's backing up an extra 30 zettabytes? What? It's above your pay grade. And mine. Gentlemen, this is Quinn Derringer, Chief of Prisrac. You may notice some of my men sweeping the operations center prior to the arrival. Now they know not to touch anything valuable, but let them do their work and give those rooms a clean bill of health before our overseer gets up there later tonight for his briefing. Sign of the girl. Going in to pick his pockets. Got it. I'll check his pockets. I got something. I've got my post secure. What were they working on in there? What do you got?
Welcome to my domain. Leaving so soon. My pockets are full. I'll be taking this. Wright's native son is the spitting image of Twain's Huckleberry Finn, reveling in the same societal failures from within the black perspective rather than from outside. The book does not lie. Social corruption leads to moral compromise. We cannot let the citizens of our fine nation imagine an alternative to the superior mold that we provide. They are our natives, not rights. Station 16, this is Madame Prudhoe. Close the investigation on Precal 390H. I've chosen not to recalibrate her at this time. Uh, negative, Madame. I can't let you authorize that. What? You've been downgraded to reliability status pending review. <laughs> Absurd. Maybe, but you can't make changes to a pre-cal status until someone reinstates your security clearance. This is Marie Prido, and I am giving you a direct order. Close the file on the girl, or I will come up there and do it myself. Well, that's just it. You can't get up here. Madame.
This was tonight. The last moment of calm before the chaos. Poison Manifesto started appearing at our doorsteps only minutes later. She's fine. A side effect of recalibration. Nothing more. She's gonna break that mirror. Then it's her bad luck. Get in there before she guts herself. And have Cooper replace the mirror. again. This is Matty Said with the Morning Bell Online Edition. The plot thickens, as now a second Prisrac, David Bowen, faces disturbing charges involving criticism of our overseer. Stay tuned for further updates. See what he's carrying. Oh, 
clear. Zager here. Gonna try a different format tonight. We're gonna... Hey! Hey! Sit. No, no. Just sit there. It's fine. It's all gonna be fine. All right, we're gonna switch things up a bit, and uh, yours truly is gonna conduct an interview. <clears throat> you may know my first guess from such crimes against humanity as the recalibration of innocent children and the rape and murder of privacy. Ladies and gentlemen, Please give a big Zager Radio Hour welcome to one of the Ark Prisrak from Terminus Level 2! <laughs> what? I can't understand. What? Oh, right, yeah, sorry. Here. Yeah, sorry about that. It pulls off the skin sometimes. Okay, so you're here, and you're here. It's a big show, so, uh, introduce yourself. What's your name? Come on, come on, say something. What's your name? your mother. That is a terrible thing. Your parents must have been horrible, horrible people. Okay, just stop. Stop. It's okay. Hey, hey, it's okay. Dude, seriously, you're embarrassing me. Stop inching away from the mic. I can't hear you when you do that. Okay, my first question for you, sir. Who are the pre-cals? Huh? Are they clones? Some kind of genetic experiment? Treglazov's illegitimate kids? I, what? I don't know. I don't, I don't have any association with the pre-cals. <laughs> uh, no association, huh? That's funny because I caught you red-handed beating up a little boy, and yet you're saying no association. That boy. Yeah, yeah, nine! Three, three W. He stole a uniform. He was armed! He was 95 pounds! He's a scared kid. <sighs> You want to tell me why Derringer and the lot of you are so worried about one of the pre-cals jumping off this little merry-go-round? It's for the protection. <laughs> right? How's that exactly? Huh? <sighs> this is not going well at all. Do you want some coffee? <laughs> Stop it! Then answer up! my question! <laughs> this... It's how an interview works. You've got to say things, dummy. Look. I... Did you piss your pants? Oh, my God, you did. Okay, well, I guess I won't be borrowing your uniform after all. Please, please stop. Okay, okay. Please. hang on. Just... Okay. Well, I think that's about all the time we have for today. Next week, we'll do a call-in show. So, Zager out. Dude, so unprofessional. You can always find a crime. That's their motto. That's their mantra. They tattoo it to the inside of their eyelids. You can always find a crime, and it's true. You can find almost anything if you look hard enough. But you know, the one thing you'll never find, no matter how long you search for it, is the end of a good conspiracy. Just when you think you've caught the beast by the tail, you round a corner and discover it just keeps going. It's never ending. It's all tail. And while you're gunning further and further down the rabbit hole, they're watching you. They're waiting for you to slip up, forget to rewind, run a red light, or play your T-Rex bootleg too loud after 10 p.m., which you only did because your ex-wife won't shut up about you not having a square job like all her friends' husbands with their starch white collars and their paisley ties Carol! But my point is this. You think you're onto them. But they're onto you. You try to track them, follow them, find out their dirty little business. 
and that's just an open invitation for them to find out yours. <laughs> so what am I saying? What? What am I saying? Am I saying you shouldn't pay attention? No, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, be smart. When you tail a suspect, you don't follow too close. If the winds change, they smell you coming up behind them. I'm telling you, you gotta be smart if you wanna unravel a good conspiracy. So rule number one, don't ask questions, at least not out loud or to anyone that's alive. Rule number two, pretend you don't give a shit. You see them dump a body in the marsh, act like it's no big thing. And rule number three, rule number three, rules one and two. If you don't ask questions, you'll never learn the truth. And if you look the other way when bad happens, then just get away with it. Best thing you can do is to make a scene. Make a mess of things. Look like a screw-up. Once they've written you off as a joke, go be smart. You can't break a few eggs without making an omelet. Just don't let them know you learned how to cook. This is Zager. And I'm telling you, don't trust anyone. Not even yourself. Zager here. I think the librarian's days are numbered. Luis Octavo, ever since he got conned into joining this shiny new brass band full of musicians who can't play a lick, he's tried to be reasonable. Well, Octavo, you big <laughs> dope, you don't reason with unreasonable men. Never ever try to appeal to one's good nature. You know why? Because such a thing doesn't exist. I mean, I don't mean to sound like a cynic. And I hope I don't come off that way. But how Luis Octavo got this far in life by underestimating evil is a mile ahead of me. <laughs> I, I guess I was born into more cynical times. He went to college. I went to war. Okay, he was burying his face in books while I was burying my friends in dusty graves. He thinks he knows evil? He thinks he gets the overseer? He does. He thinks that. But guys like Treglazov can't be got by an optimist. It takes a cynic like me to bring him down. I just hope I can put a shiv in the son of a before he puts a round in the librarian. But speaking of a round, I think I'll have another. You know, when I die, write this down. I want my headstone to read, Daniel Marcus Zager, our little angel. Three nine zero H to the left of the Baptist cookout. 
Any authority figures? What about Louise O'Connell? I'm sure you're talking to her. But the owners here want to wait a few more weeks to play the library of his car. Sure. Well, there's a great narrative here. I'll take up the rest tonight. Once the terminus is under right, you won't have to do so much digging. Believe me, that day can't come soon enough. You got plans, Liz? <laughs> Zager here. Hi. I've decided to join the internet craze. Now this is a big step forward for me. I'm not what you'd call tech savvy, exactly. <laughs> I walked into a software store once looking for some help. A smarmy kid behind the counter laughed in my face because I didn't know how to turn my computer on. <laughs> well, <laughs> screw you, kid. At least, unlike you, I can turn a woman on. <laughs> what were we talking about? the internet the internet so point is not a quick study but I think I'm finally getting the hang of this dot-com business it's real simple actually the hard part was coming up with a proper URL then it hit me as someone who's always defined themselves by what they hate I realized exactly what kind of site I needed to make so for all you listeners out there you are in for a treat today I unveil the greatest website in the history of, well, anything, really. <laughs> it's, um, what is it? There's a W, and a W, and then another W. There's three Ws. And then killyourinternet.com. It was actually my second choice, but it was taken, and apparently you got to pay for these website things to be hosted. And the whole thing reeks of a scam. Honestly, no. So far, there's nothing on the site, and I realize that. But I got me some big plan. All of Treglov's dirty little secrets. Some blogging posts could be cool. Maybe, maybe even tasteful nudes. We'll see. Also, if anyone listening knows how to generate web traffic, please email me at um, uh, Zager. Uh, that at symbol thing and then kill your net dot com. It's all one word. Okay. <coughs> Until next time, don't trust anyone and don't trust any websites either because some of them will put cookies on your computer. Whatever the f that means. we make it through? It would seem so. This concludes our tour for the evening. Did I mention you exit through the gift shop? Go to the door marked Sanctuary. My gift to you is the prompt arrest of Edwin Chung and David Bowen. You're welcome.
see the lynch mob still milling about down there. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I apologize. For whatever I'm accused of, I'm sorry. Please. Just that send me ain't home. apologizing. I don't it's even know what I did. You criticized the overseer. What about you? What do you have to say for yourself? Smart man. You could learn something from this man. Ugh. They could be here all night. Huh. I have an idea. Quinn. It's Matthew. Miss A. To what do I owe this pleasure? Is this a bad time? Not at all. Just had to step out of the confessional box. Well, when you finish down there, come see me. I have some sins of my own I'd like to confess. Yeah, I'll, uh, give me a minute. What are we still doing here, huh? Come on, people. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get these two delinquents down to processing. No, you stay here. Man this post. There's still a pre-cal at large. You can't have it getting up to the garden. Dissection 1. We'll surveil his private quarters, see if we can't find something incriminating in there. leaked in kidnapping plot. Again, don't worry about how you're presented. We control the narrative. You just describe your experience to me. Okay, so... Like I was, uh... I, I thought I heard something suspicious outside the reading room. Suspicious how? Suspicious, like... I don't know, like it was talking. Like someone talking to themselves? Yeah, and, and I'd known from, from our briefings that Zager's crazy and he talks to himself a lot, so... So, so I thought, you know, maybe it could be him. I see. I'd like to ask you about something else. I, I know what you're going to ask me. There's a rumor. Absolutely not. Not even a little. It's a natural human reaction. Look, if anyone in that room pissed themselves, it was Zager when he saw it broken free. I'm not accusing anyone of anything. No, I'm talking This interview's over.
Hey, Mom, it's me. I don't know what time it is where you are, because I don't even know where I am. I'm calling you from the satellite phone Uncle Connor gave me. You were right. I should have listened to you. This whole thing, this place, I get it now. There's order in the universe, but at a cost I can't afford. I just want to leave. I just want to leave. Murray and Derringer each have an arm, and they're pulling me in opposite directions. I had a dream where they actually did this and then fought each other with my torn off limbs. <laughs> I should shut up. Uh, I love you. I miss you. I miss the earth. I don't even consider this place to be part of it. One could come in handy. What else? Hey, man, working tonight? Nope. AM library. What's up? Nothing. Oh, yeah, just come on in, why don't you? Can I borrow this? What, my D4 comic? Hell no, I'm reading it. You're not reading it right now. I'll trade you the sandwich. That's a horrible trade. And get that out of my room, you spilling mustard soil on the floor. Fair enough. Hey, did you get that email from Downinger? What email? Check it out. <sighs> Downinger email. No, I don't see anything here. Right on. I guess he didn't CC you. Anyway, I'll get out of your hair. Later. Later. Oh, damn it, I took my comic. Keep digging. All of these must be taken down. Especially this one. What a vulgar display. It's just a poster. It celebrates a behavior the overseer resolutely prohibits. It's a liquor advertisement. Uh, Derringer lets me have it up. Derringer does not make the rules. He merely enforces them. Poorly, I may add. I'm keeping it. Do not test me. It's my identity. You have no identity! You have been misinformed. You have no personality we care to know. No name we care to speak. In time, you may earn these things. But for now, you remain a blank canvas, as do these walls. I really hate that woman. Fabulous. Let's get to work. We'll have you to the surface in no time. This one should go quickly, as you're now well versed in the language of character assassination. A Prisrak attacked Mireille. Make me believe it was this one. Rack with a taser, hardly shocking, but maybe we can turn it into a smoking gun. I just want to leave. <sighs> Frankly, I never liked Murray, and I'm glad someone knocked her down a peg. But as they say, no good deed goes unpunished. Or in our case, unpublished. Murray Prideau's attacker called Red Handed. Well, perhaps not Red Handed, but soon enough anyway. Head 
back to Sanctuary and grab a pair of front row seats. I'm calling this one into Derringer personally. Expect the arrest to go down any minute. Derringer will be here any second. Get in the vent and wait for the Prizrak to get dragged away kicking and screaming. I understand that it doesn't do us a whole lot of good now. Shut the siren off already. I can't hear myself. Think. <sighs> Is everyone out to ruin me? Oh, you got to kid. I give up. I give up.
I'm walking to you now. Are you there? Not quite. I'm gonna need more time. We should be talking for a lot. I agree. But then I don't have my phone, do I? As if it wasn't enough to tase me, you had to give the precal my only means of communication. Technically, I didn't give it to them. Over. Technically, you're an a Over. I had to jam. Where is he, anyway? How would I know? I was unconscious. Stay on the channel. I'll see you at noon. Over and out. Watch your step. <laughs> 